Keith, you're on. All right. Hit it. So I'm, there's been a lot of focus about on AI, artificial intelligence, not Adobe Illustrator, at this conference. And I'm tired and sick of it, and sick and tired of it. <laughs> and so I'm going to show you how to do something in design that doesn't involve AI. It's going to be done by humans. And that is how to extend backgrounds in InDesign without artificial intelligence. So oftentimes I'll have a simple stock image like this that just doesn't fit the page. And yes, I could sample blue and fill this with blue, but you know, it wouldn't match because there's a subtle gradient across here, right? You know, and shadows and stuff, right? So very simple tip, if I just take this, copy it, paste it in place, and so now I've got two of them on top, right? And then just pull this copy up here to crop it, right? So now I've cropped off this little wedge, and then I hold down Command or Control on Mac and simply stretch this up. There we go. No Photoshop needed, no artificial intelligence, okay? I mean, it only works on simple images, but it's pretty cool. So here's a real life example of that. We'll do it again. Copy, paste, Command Option Control V, bring it up, hold down Command or Control, drag it up, done. Saves a lot of time. I don't like launching Photoshop. <laughs> what about something like this where you've got bleed? I forgot to bleed this thing, okay? And there's no other image to pull out here. What am I gonna do? Well, you can use this to bleed. Also, I'm gonna copy it, paste it in place, get a tiny little wedge of it, you know, and then just hold down Command, I would normally grab the middle handle, but, you know, pull it over like so. And it's for a bleed, it's going to be plenty good. And even down here by his paw, you know, if the fur isn't just quite right for a bleed, it's going to be just fine, right? Because you just need a few extra pixels. And then as a bonus tip, what about something like this, where this image just doesn't fit? Well, there's, I can't do the same thing here because there's shadows and stuff, right? But what I sometimes do to cheat is simply make the frame bigger, switch to the color theme tool, sample a color, fill that with color, switch to the direct selection tool, and then go to the gradient feather tool, which is not working. The shift, why is that shortcut not working? Anyway, and then just feather this. Whoops, oh, I forgot to. Got to select the content and then feather the content into the background. And especially if you're going to put type or something on top of it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.